Hello, today I'm going to show you our modified water system for our Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro plasma cutting table. Once we received the table and we started putting it together, we realized it was a real quality piece as far as fit and finish. Uh, had real good instructions. All the, Every nut, bolt, and screw was separate packaged and identified, so there was no confusion about what went where. Um, I would say if there was any downfall at all with this table, it would be the, the water table drain system. This is what they send you for a drain system. This goes down in a hole inside the table. When you've got that much from there to there sticking up above the table, okay, which is almost a quarter inch. So even though you can pop this drain in this nut is what holds the, up against the table, okay? And then you pop this to drain the table, but you still wind up with about a quarter inch of water in, in the table itself. And I didn't want that. So what we've done, I'll remove a slat here so you can see, is we utilize bar drains. These, these are go, go to bar room sinks and they have in the drain itself they have a filtering mechanism this just pulls up okay and we've had this table filled a couple times and drained a couple times so as you can see it's catching junk now another thing we did is we went inside there and put some real fine mesh screen just wrapped a roll of it around there. I think that screen, the screen is uh, sold by inches of wire per per inch or number of wires per inch, and I think that is either a 90 or 100 wire per inch screen. So that really helps collect the junk that you don't want down in your storage system. Now this drain, the way this works, when it's when that little lever there is down see the zinc felt the the it stops it from going when you want to drain it you just lift that lever up and it lifts the drain up see that lift the lever back up the drain comes back up so that's one thing we really liked about this system is we could catch all the fine stuff as you see see this table has dirt on it but these tables were were shipped in two pieces so you have to put them together in the center and utilize silicone to to uh, seal them up and then we installed another drain on this side as you can see Now one thing that we've changed we've seen a lot of storage systems on Videos people were using pressurized systems uh, Some guys were just using buckets underneath the existing drains Didn't see anything that I really liked that didn't cost a whole lot of money I really didn't want pressurized systems because they were utilizing multiple valves and you got to make sure this valve's on and this valve's off. Otherwise, you were blowing water all over the place or it wouldn't work at all. So what we decided was in tractor supply one day and seen a UTV sprayer tank. As you can see below, the sprayer tank's 15-gallon capacity, which is roughly the capacity of this table. In fact, that tank will probably hold closer to 20 gallons. So we utilized a um, uh, UTV battery, which we're going to hook up, hook up with a, a maintenance charge system later on. And then we've got our switch right up here. On the other side of the table, just, and this was probably kind of a stupid thing to do, but I made a little system so you can fill both sides at once. Since this is divided, you fill one side and it takes a long time for it to go over to the other side. So now to fill the system, all you have to do is turn the pump on. And it fills the tape. Now I'm not going to fill the tape all the way up right now, it's just to show you. Now you notice the water is very blue and we wanted the water uh, color 
to give us a good indication of how much we have in the tank, whether the tank's full, whether the tank's empty. And what we color the water with is a product that farmers use in their field sprayers. We also got that tractor supply and that color will not stain those tanks. Or if you use food, uh, food grade coloring that you would, might, you might have in the kitchen, that could stain that tank. Now, there's a lot of different ideas on what type of water to use. You, you want to help eliminate rust um, and see a lot of real expensive products used as far as uh, plasma tables go. But what a lot of people are doing, uh, they're just using stuff you can buy at any of the stores, just borax, and you want to bring the pH level to 9. And you got the pH at 9, which is um, supposed to prevent the rust. And we, we found that we get to a pH at 9 or over with about 2 cups of that in a 5-gallon bucket. And this stuff that we got a tractor supply to color the water is very concentrate. It maybe takes six or eight drops in five gallon of water to make it really blue color. So that is basically our system. We'll get you one more view underneath the table. We just used inch and a half drain with a valve. And the valve goes right into the top of the tank. We just cut an inch and a half hole in the top of the tank. And the tank already comes with the pump. So for just under $200, we had our system together. The uh, drains themselves, I don't know if we showed you that box. I got them at a local plumbing supply house. One of the more expensive items to buy, they were about $19 a piece. But instead of being plastic, they are all metal. That's another thing I was found when I was looking for drains is a lot of them is plastic. The hole size I had to cut in this is roughly a two and a quarter inch. And then we did use plumber's putty to seal between the drain and the stainless tank. This blue that you see is, is uh, steel blue that we just colored the table up with so I could scribe a line for where we had to cut the hole. Thanks for watching. This concludes the video on our modified water system for the Langmere Systems Crossfire Pro. If you like this video, go check out the rest of my channel and subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out with this table.